Americans watch this video. In no way, shape, or form am I saying the words he's about to tell you are true, but I want you to hear them. I'm guessing the reason why he can't upload... Take the next the ride onto Squirrelwood Road. It's because, honestly, and I know this to be true, if you try to upload something that is... Your phone was shut off. The app was shut down. All types of shit. I've had it happen to me. So, I believe he's going through what he's going through, but you'd be the judge. Listen to the, what the fuck he's about to say, and after he's done saying what he's about to say, I'm going to ask you, do you think it's a possibility? In a quarter mile. What's going on, guys? I have to make this really quick. I literally cleaned my entire phone. It will not let me upload any of these this information. The confirmation is there. Uh, we got pictures of guys coming across the border on uh, camera dressed in military tactic clothes with duffel bags coming over the border. I was right about the bangs. The bangs are to triangulate where they are. Um, we got them on a game camera the other night. And uh, I brought it to the attention of the um, Border Patrol, and they said they're not even allowed to confront these people. These people are untouchable. Get your shit together. I'm telling you right now, get your freedom seats together. Make your alliances. It's happening, and it's going to happen soon. I'm telling you, these people are coming across the border every day up here now. And uh, now we got pictures of them. It's confirmed. I was absolutely right. Get it together, guys. Serious shit's happening. Now, do you believe this? What he's basically describing is saying, well, we already know that the border control situation was what it was. And he went and asked the officers, and they're talking about, we can't tell. And then you're seeing packs come across and people dressed in the military. Do you think it's a possibility we're just being invaded slowly and people are being told not to intervene? Why? I thought it was their job to stop people from just crossing the border. Think about that for a second. What does that mean? What is happening? And if you think they're just coming across for the American fucking dream, wake up! But at the same token, he couldn't show none of the pictures or upload them because his phone would stop working or it would stop at 99% and then say unable. And again, I can verify this. This has happened to me multiple fucking times. And honestly, the simple fact that he can control my phone bothers me. And I got old receipts about that. And eyewitnesses that saw it too. So, I have empathy for what he's saying. It's not far-fetched that he can't upload it. So what do you think? Is this true? Fact or fiction? We're gonna find out regardless, I guess, huh? Peace to the God. This is the book of Joel, chapter 2, in verse 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord Yahweh, Bahasham Yahawashai, cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Alright, Shalom, Yahshallah. Before we go any further within this lesson, we're going to start off by giving all praises, honor, glory, infinite blessings unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahawashai, Bahasham, Rechahachudash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name, who the people of this world endlessly calls God, which is the God of the Bible. All right. And Yahweh Shai is the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, who the people of this world endlessly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Meaning he is the Savior and Deliverer of the nation of Israel. I'm the brother Tazayar from the province of Babylon, camp here in Tampa, Florida. Or I come in to uh, edify and to feed the, the sheep of Yahweh Bashim Shai, giving double honors to the elder bishops and elder apostles of Great Millstone that teach from the Ruel. Salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect and to the Akim that slay room within his truth. All right, for the believers, man, the Akim and the Akwaf, Yahweh Bashim Shai broke a thumb to you and your family. Lord willing, you find this lesson edifying. So. You know, as you've seen in the video, man, you have, um, you know, what it looks to be, you know, two Edomites, you know, just going off, uh, you know, just off of judging off of appearance, man. All right. But these people are speaking about, you know, these events, you know, and these, uh, you know, these things or these strange uh, things that are going down, man. All right. Concerning with the land of America, man, aka Babylon the Great, because... 
you know this is this is this is their home okay this is you know the dominion was given over to Esau and Edom to rule all right the world was given unto him you know going back to the uh, book of Job chapter uh, 9 and 24 tells you that the earth was given into the hand of the wicked so they have the dominion okay so this is this is their rest all right this is their kingdom this is their heaven man all right so when certain things you know pop up or scenarios or situations or even of you know events all right pop up to where you know uh, it's concerning these people being put out of power or you know for a great example you know their land being invaded man because this is not this is not our this is not our land you know this is not our rest man so you see a lot of these damn edomites or you know just even people in general, man. But majority of them are Edomites speaking on, you know, the things that are going on with uh, Babylon the Great and how, you know, they see the, the impending doom of this place. You know, this place is crumbling and falling, you know, from the economy. All right. To, um, you know, f you know, to the food, to the to, to everything in this place, man, it's just going out of the window. So they speak on these things, man. All right. Because you don't really see. Uh, Jake that much that speak on you know situations dealing with you know uh Babylon the Great all right and how you know this place is um basically going down the drain all right the only ones that are Jake that speak on those things are you know the prophets you know but the true prophets of you know Yahweh Bashim Hashai, the, the true prophets of the Lord that speak on those things man but this is the book of Joel 2 and 1. It says, blow you the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain, man. All right. And that's what we're doing, man. Okay. That trumpet being the Lord's prophets, man. You know, we are blowing that trumpet, trying to warn you of evils to come. All right. Trying to warn you that death is uh, coming and you are not exempt from, from that. If you have not, you know, gotten right with the Lord, Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shah, okay, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father, okay, who the people of this world ignorantly call as God, okay, his name is Yahweh, which means he is, he exists, man. And his begotten son, his name is Yahweh Shah, which means he saves, he delivers. Alright? And only for the nation of Israel. Okay, so we try to warn you that if we don't get right, man, if you don't turn back to the Lord and humble yourself before the Lord. Okay, you very likely, you know, will be destroyed if you on the shores of America, if you hear when um these prophecies hit. You know, because that dude was just talking about how um you know how these troops or you know these foreign troops are crossing the border, you know, and then you know, ain't nobody saying shit about it. You know, so they could be amongst you know the these Babylonians already, you know, you know, being spies, living out their everyday life, you know, to um, you know, they are given that that role to uh turn up, you know, and start dashing people, man, because, you know, the land of America has never been touched, man. That's why it's called the Virgin Daughter of Babylon. You know, because this place has never been touched. You know, the soil of this place. You know, so that's why, you know, the Lord's going to do a, a great judgment on this place and these people. You know. But we're trying to warn you, it says, blow you the trumpet of Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. All right. And the Lord's holy mountain is talking about Israel, the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. We're trying to tell you, dude, that it's going to go down in, in, in America. You know, this it's going to go down. You know, when shit hits the fan, it's going to go down. And even Babylon the Great itself, it will go down. That's why it says Babylon is falling. It's falling, you know. But let's get Amos 3 and verse 6. It says, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? And we are that trumpet. Okay, the Lord's prophets. All right, like you see like in the movies, you know, sometimes they have these movies like uh, 2012. You know, you had the. You know, the people with the signs saying the end is here, the end is near. Or, you know, because Esau, Edom, he knows about the prophets. So he throws them within these movies, man. All right. But they are depicted as crazy men, you know, or bums or just men that look, uh, you know, very less fortunate, like, uh, you know, homeless, man. 
with signs and you know basically they they're depicted as crazy people or conspiracy theorists within these movies telling that the end is here but you know we are those men okay on this side you know although actually i'm telling you man that you know the end is here in that yahweh bashim yashah the god of the universe okay the powers of the universe to be exact all right are going to touch this place with depth and destruction or it says, says, so let's Trump be blown in the city and the people not be afraid. Yeah, man. So if you're not afraid, you know, of the prophets, because back then, you know, the people of old, they knew what type of spirit the prophets came in. They knew who were those men and their importance of their roles were, man. Because it says, uh, let's get this real quick. I don't know why it's uh, up there. Let's get this. It says, the prophets before me in of old prophesied all right so let's get this man this is the book of jeremiah 28 verse 8 says the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old all right exactly because you know you lord willing you know we are those prophets which were back then but it says the prophets that have been before me exactly because there was there were men before us you know who the lord was dealing with Using them, all right, to get his word out, all right, to push out, uh, you know, what he wanted to be uh, known, you know, to give the warning. It says, the prophets bef that have been before me and before thee, that's why I said, even before thee, so even before you, brothers, man, all right, because, you know, if you're appointed a lot as being a prophet, you're a prophet. If you're doing the work as a prophet, you are a prophet, man. Either you be a prophet of uh, a false prophet or a true prophet, man, as a prophet of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. But it says, before they have all prophesied both against many countries. So this was the job of a prophet to, to prophesy, okay? To speak of, to speak against many countries, all right? Kings and rulers, all right, like America, all right, uh, Russia, you know, all these great nations. Um, you know, and I'm putting it in a modern day term, you know, against many countries and against great kingdoms, all right? You know, America is seen as a great kingdom, a great nation, okay, with a, a great army, a lot of, uh, you know, military force, you know, to be, um, is to be reckoned with, and etc. man. It says, uh, and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, and that's what we're doing. All right, the men that's on the scene, all right, they're, they're, they're prophesying, they're telling you about, you know, of war, what's coming, man. You know, war is um pending, impending, you know, it's coming, man. The book of uh, Revelations tells you how, you know, the third world, uh, the second world is passed, but behold, the third world cometh quickly, speaking about World War Three. That is biblical prophecy, man, which is approaching this place. All right. And of evil, evil meaning bad times. The Lord said he's going to send evil in this place. Evil and only evil has come. All right. And it waited for thee, man. Because the Lord's going to reward this place and the inhabitants of this place for their actions. You know, everyone's going to get rewarded for what they have done. And that's just what the Lord stands on. Okay, you reap what you sow. And some people might know it as karma. But this is, uh, you know, the Lord's way, man. It's, it's just you reap what you sow. You know, the universal law. That's just, that's how it goes. More so the law of Yahweh by Shema Shai. All right, it says a war and of evil and of pestilence. Which the pestilence is going to, uh, you know, be on this place, man. All right, you know, sickness, great death, mornings, destructions. All right, limitations will be back upon this place. And that's what we're warning our people that, ho you know, that holy mountain. What we're trying to warn, man, we're trying to warn you Israelites. All right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, that you will not be um, excluded from this, man. You know, unless you repent. All right, the Lord, the creator that made you is going to throw you to these things. All right, you're going to be subjected unto war in, 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 in evil times, man. All right, famine, you know, a lack of food, you know, starvation, starving to death, uh, the sword, you know, getting gunned down. All right, or even being impelled with the, you know, sword, saw, anything, you know, that's that all consists of evil. Okay. But it says, blow you the trumpet of Zion and sound, so like you're. Joel 2 and 1, blow you the trumpet of Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. So let all the inhabitants, everybody, inhabitants meaning the people of the land, 
and is, you know, the people that dwells over here in the land of Babylon, a.k.a. America. You know, you should be trembling, man. You should be scared. You should be scared shitless. All right. Even uh, Ezra, the prophet of the Lord, man of the Lord, servant of the Lord, you know, favored by the Lord. You know, was scared himself. So he says, woe is me, woe is me. Who would deliver me in those days? Destruction is uh, unto me. You know, he had that woe is me spirit, man. You know, destruction is me. You know, because he was concerned for his life in those days. Also going into and show you how that uh, reincarnation is uh, real because he was seeing himself through, those vis through that vision, man. You know, within these times, all right, modern day times. Okay, not, uh, you know, uh, you know, the earlys, but, you know, but in this time, man, it was to let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord, Yahweh, Shemashai, cometh for it is, it is not at hand. So, you know, the day of destruction and death is coming, man. You know, now ultimate day is uh, when the Lord restores this place with thermonuclear missiles. But before then, you know, he's going to touch uh, Babylon, the great, um, you know, with great death and pestilence, you know. You know, plagues. All right. This place is going to get uh, ravished by these foreign troops. And that's what those men was talking about, man. How, you know, they these these, these men look like soldiers with, uh, you know, these, uh, you know, with uh, military uh, outfits, you know, crossing the border, man. And, you know, even the Border Patrol said they, you know, that's out of their jurisdiction, man. They don't know shit about it. They don't gonna know nothing, but they were told to mind their business, do as they, as they uh, what they were told to do, man. You know this place is gonna get uh ravished, you know, and even these people, they're gonna get uh, thrust through, by these troops, you know. This is the book of uh, Ezekiel chapter nine and verse four. It says, "In the Lord Yahweh." Bahasham Yahweh Shai said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of them, of the men, so like you, of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. All right. And the men that uh that sigh and that cry for uh, the abominations that be done in the midst. All right, it's talking about, uh, you know, the prophets, man. All right, you know, you brothers, you know, that are that are, that are, that are vexed with the, the, the filthy conversation of the wicked, man. All right, we're vexed with seeing abomination, unrighteousness. We're vexed with seeing sodomites, man. We're, we're vexed with seeing unrighteous judgment, man. Okay, uh, uh, deception. You know, uh, the doctrine, the, 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 the doctrine of, um, of lies and deceit, man, being pushed out. Okay, we're 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 tired of being in this place, man, of being in America, because this place is all uh, full of wickedness, man, and it's not a place for a, a true man to to dwell. You know, a true man to prosper, but more so an Israelite, man. This is not our rest. You know, this is not our place, man. This is not a place we should be able to, you know, kick back in, you know, and set up uh treasures inheritances for our chosen's chosen and. Them after that, no man. That's why the Lord said, and the Lord said, said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, okay, through the midst of Jerusalem. So the Lord said, You know, search through, you know, our people, all right, the so called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, all right, because there is a remnant, man, there's an election of those men that are sighing and crying, man, all right, because not all of our people are sighing and crying, they love being in this place, man. They love living it up in here. You know, because this place, they can do so much wickedness and, you know, and can, um, you know, can, and be fucking wicked, man. That's what the Lord says. Search through that city, man. Because our people is a, is a place. Before, our people, you know, Jerusalem is a place. I mean, it's a people before it is a place, you know. It says, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the forest of them, of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Yeah, we're crying out, man, because we are being done bad in this place. And it's like only the ones that's been woken up can really see that 
you know, our people are, uh, you know, being mistreated, being oppressed. OK, being accused for things we uh, that we are, uh, you know, forced to uh, do. You know, and then, you know, the wicked are on our wicked are on our ass, man. You know, every day this ain't it. This is not it, man. But this is talk about a spiritual mark, man, not a physical mark, not the mark of Revelations 13 and, uh, and uh, uh, 16. But this is this is talk about the spiritual mark, which is the Tawa. All right. Which, you know, that remnant, the elect are going to have, you know, sit within their minds, man. So within, within their heads, man, upon their foreheads. Verse 5 says, And to the others, he said, In my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. So the Lord said, Within, you know, that nation of Israel, okay, out of, you know, all that people, go ye after him through the city and smite. So everybody else who doesn't have that, the wad, that doesn't have that protection, that, that seal of uh, exemption, all right, from the, you know, in the doom and the impending judgments and the evils to come. The Lord said, smite them, go kill them, man. Let not your eyes spare, neither have you pity. So don't even, don't even think about letting up on these people, man. Don't have no pity. Okay. You know, just, just utterly destroy these people. Why? Because our people are stubborn. You know, our people, they don't want to listen, man. They're stiff necked. Their saddest children are stupid. You know, they're they're uh they're wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge, man. You know, they don't want to repent from their ways. All right, acknowledge that they've been doing wrong. They want to continue to to live in their wrongs, and that's why the Lord's gonna have to take them out, man. Why do you think these foreign troops are coming over here, man? It's to get on your ass. You know, to get on you your ass, Jake. All right, and also to get on, you know, this Bab the Babylon the Great. But you people are connected to this place. And the scripture says, the hand go in hand, the wicked should not go unpunished. So you're not going to go unpunished, man. The Lord's going to punish your ass. You know, he's going to, you know, take a lot of you people out and kill you. Verse 6 says, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children. All right. Also showing how the Lord is in respect of no persons. He don't care your age. He don't care, you know, how old you is. He don't care if you're 98, man. 99. Your birthday is tomorrow. The Lord's still going to take your ass out. He don't care if you, okay, four months old, man. All right, because the Lord knows your spirit, man. All right, the Lord ways are higher than our ways. You think the Lord sees this flesh? No, He don't see the flesh, man. He knows that spirit. All right, that's been uh, that's been going off each generation, you know, each uh reincarnation. So He's gonna whip that ass, man. Say so slightly old and young. Say so oldly old and young, both maids and little children. All right, so maids is you know older women. It says and little children. So little children. You know, Timmy, six-year-old Timmy, the Lord's going to get his ass too because the Lord knows his spirit. All right. Let not your eyes spare, not to have ye pity. All right. You think he, the Lord's going to have pity on you? He's not. Back in uh, six says, in, in little children and women, but come not. All right. It says, in little, it says, in little children and women. So that goes into women both, man. Two times. So even though you women, you know, these these truths will come over here, man, with that, that blood thirst, that blood thirst, with, the, you know, of, of of whacking some shit, killing some, man. You're going to mow you, you jakes down, you niggas down. And even for you women, man, you know, who, who don't, uh, who is not uh, saved within those times, man, who don't got a man of the Lord within those times, you're done. Okay, you're going to be left to these things, man. These men are going to ravish. They're going to play with you. They're going to kill you, man. They're going to kill your children and all that. I'm just telling you how it is. If you don't have, if you don't have, uh, okay, that heads above you, the heads of you, how about Shema Shah? If the Lord's not with you, 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 you might as well already be done, man. It says, and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. All right, and that, once again, it's coming to the, the Tawat, which is, you know, the mark, the exemption, man, which is, you know, name of Yahweh by Shema Shai, when you're within those men, all right? And it says, and begin at my sanctuary. So the Lord said, don't come to them, man, you know. Have mercy, you know, on them. Have pity on them, man. You know, have pity. You know, spare those men. But everybody else who don't got that, you're gone. 
It says, and begin at my sanctuary, which is uh the you know the Israelites, man. Okay, this, that's the Lord's sanctuary, man. That's who the Lord dwells with, man. He dwells with Israel. He, he you know, that's his people. But everybody else, no. Okay, so the Lord's going to start to uh, judge his people first. He's going to start with the house of Israel first, man, his people. Then everybody else. Then these heathens. All right? But he's going to be his child first, his children first, man. It says, then they begin at the ancient men, which were before the house. Yeah, man, you know. You think it's a game now? All right, you uh, your ass, your ass gonna feel it. You know when the Lord comes down with that wrath, you know that He's gonna show through. You know these these men, these these mighty men, these men of war. You know these damn troops that's ready to, you know, kill some man. They hate Americans, dude. These people hate Americans. You know you think you 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 think, you think you know hatred, man. You are gonna see it. And these in they in in their eyes and these people deeds, man, when they come to this place. You know, they already infantry in this place. You know, Babylon the Great is uh might as well already be known as it's fallen, man, because it's it's been prophesied it that it's it's down. Alright, so we're just waiting on these uh, you know, these events, these prophecies to be fulfilled, man. You know, Lord willing the Lord have mercy upon us. Alright, the Lord willing this lesson was edifying. In closing on give all praises, honor, glory, and for blessing to Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. And someone say Shalom. And DTA, a Baba Ba soon.